had no words. I just had no words. The outpouring of support continues tonight as fire victims try to put their lives back together. It is our top story tonight at six. Thanks for joining us. I'm Sherry Jones. It has been eight days since the fatal Knob Hill apartment fire, destroying dozens of people's homes, leaving them with just the clothes on their backs. Taylor Morris is here for you now and shows us how the community continues to step up and help. We saved a lot of people that day. Um, and we're proud of that. A devastating fire sparks an overwhelming response to help those affected at Knob Hill Apartments. It happened last week, just days before Christmas. Now, a week later, the community has raised $120,000. Well, it's been an exercise of great public service. I mean, that's what we're here for, to serve the public. This last week is, um, has been tragic, but in one way it's been rewarding to see the community come forward and support the victims. Raymond Nassif was killed in the fire. Dozens of others lost everything, but most of the victims are doing their best to stay positive. Like Joan Gray, who was saved and carried from the fire by two teachers. I was in my living room, dressed in my favorite outfit, pajamas and a robe, and I heard noise outside, a child crying, people talking, and I looked over to the left because my building was the second building. So and there was a fire yeah, all around the back door. I saw the flames yeah, yeah, shooting up to the roof. Uh, and I thought, is this a movie set? It's just changed an attitude. Of, it's just the outpouring of, of love and giving from so many people. Also giving back to those affected is Faith Lutheran Church in Okemos. Toothpaste, clothes, shoes, kitchen supplies, all free for victims of the fire. The help has been so overwhelming, they've stopped taking donated items. We wanted to give residents a quiet, peaceful place to shop, and um, I think we've done that here. In Okemos, Taylor Morris, 6 News. Well, as you just heard, they're no longer taking donations of items, but they still are accepting monetary donations. As for the investigation into what started the fire, no official cause has been released.